inspired young kids basically. So as soon as they start coming in the door, friendly faces is the most important thing. Hello everybody and welcome! There's nearly 300 of you! We're doing uh, Love Me Again. It's so famous and I think all of them will probably know it quite well already. Bringing the pop stuff into the classical really helps because it's a way of keeping in touch with everything. We want everyone to get to know each other and then we'll have a warm-up stretches and then we'll start looking at the music. We're just going to go through the music like note by note, make sure they all know where it is and then we're just going to try and play it through and see how far we get. So if you make sure you've got your feet flat on the floor. I just want like a really enthusiastic group of people. I want everyone to really enjoy playing it and I want them all to like go away feeling like they've really achieved something. We did some slurring, we did loud, we did soft. We managed to look at a variety of different um, aspects of horn playing. Ladies and gentlemen of Highbury School, this is Love Me Again, arranged by the fantastic Mr. Scarlatto. No, what's am wrong. Loved your heart song, is that what devils do? It was challenging because it was really hard to keep in time and keep the tone of my voice correct. It was a challenge, but I think it paid off. It was a really exciting opportunity. The most exciting bit was the end, when we like, played four notes, and it's like, ba 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 ba. It makes you feel like there's surround sound everywhere. I was a bit nervous, but I liked it. Elgar is something that they probably haven't done before, so it'll be really interesting to see how they pick up on that. If you're trying to play high and you move the jaw, it can distort the embouchure. Ed who's one of the trumpet players, he was telling us tips and stuff. Like, your teachers are there, but these people, they're your age, they're more connected to you because they're younger, and it motivates you in a way that adults and your teachers can't. It's amazing, like, they're not that different from us, but their standard of playing is, like, really good. Welcome back, everybody. First of all, thank you for working so hard in your sectionals. I've heard you all brilliant. Um, what we're going to do is try and just run it. When I was in the orchestra it felt inspiring and like I was part of something really like special. The musicians, the members of the NYO can make the most difference. They can inspire young musicians and young people in a way that we can't, which is why it's so important that we're here today. It was really cool because they're like our age and there was so much emotion and stuff. 